I decided to come up with this half cut crease look. Um, I didn't want to do anything too dramatic because I already have going on a lot with my dress. So yeah, if you guys are interested in knowing how I got this look, just keep watching. Alright guys, in here I'm just going in with the Morphe 35O palette and I'm just using that light shade to set my eyelids and if you notice I did have my eyebrows done, I did them off camera and now I'm just going in with a light brown shade just to use this as my transition. And then I'm going in with this um, I'm very, I suck at describing colors, jeez. It's like a um, brown, like a, with a yellow undertone. Uh, does that work? I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then here I'm just gonna use a reddish toned brown and I'm just gonna apply this to my outer V and then run it to my crease create some depth okay and then I'm just gonna grab um, like a medium brown shade and then apply this as well to my outer V and then just run it to my crease to give it more depth for the eye look Take a darker brown, um, a little a shade darker than the last shade that I used, and then apply this to my outer V again, and then run this through my crease. Okay, and now for the main part of the look, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just going to use this to cut my crease. And as you notice, I'm not going to take it all the way in. I'm just doing half cut crease. So, and sorry that um, the palette was in the way. I totally forgot that I was recording. Okay, now I'm going to the Morphe 35O palette again and I'm just going to take the light shade and apply this to where I applied the concealer. Okay, now I'm just taking my brush that I used earlier for the outer V and then I'm just running this through the edges just to blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. Alright, and now I'm gonna go in with my Shiseido Moisturizer. I love using this before my foundation because it gives me such a flawless canvas. And then I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray and I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. And I actually didn't show the clip of me showing my primer, but I used the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And now I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, you guys are going to get sick of me probably using this so much because it's my favorite. But if you guys have any suggestions on full coverage foundations for dry skin, please let me know in the comments below.
or Ryan in here. I'm just going with my bare skin um, concealer and then just doing like a triangular shape under my eyes and also trying to um, clean up my eyeshadow look. And then I'm just putting this on my cupid's bow and on my chin, on my forehead, and down. And then here I'm just going in with my Beauty Mark Makeup Academy Translucent Powder and then just putting this in the places where I concealed. And then I usually don't like to bake for too long so with my Makeup Forever Pro Finishing Powder I just rub this all over my face and then dust off the translucent powder at the same time. And then here I'm just taking my MAC Manuela Skin Finish and Dark Tan and then just using this bronze. And I love this product because it's a powder foundation and it's so easy to blend. And it looks so beautiful on the skin. And then here I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just jiggling my cheeks. And then here I'm just taking my translucent powder and then just cleaning up my contour. Also like applying this um, on my smile lines just because it creases up a lot there, so that helps me a little bit with that. And then I'm going in with my Milani Luminoso brush, and then just applying this to my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Body Beverly Hills contour can and just contour my nose. I actually never like contour my nose, but then I learned how to use it, and I love it. And then I'm just taking another blending brush, clean blending brush, and then I'm just blending that out. So like applying some translucent powder to the side of my nose just to make it more snatched. And now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic. And then I'm just going to go in with my Lily Lashes in Style Miami, which has honestly stolen my heart because they're so beautiful and dramatic. And now I'm gonna go in with my WhatsApp highlighter, and this is like in a cream form, so I like using this as a base for my powder highlighter, just to make it intense and blinding. And then now I'm just going in with this MAC highlighter in the shade Oh darling, and then I'm just applying this where I used my cream face. And sorry guys, this is limited edition, so if you can't get your hands on it, I'm sorry. And this, and I'm also gonna apply that same highlighter on my brow bone and my inner corners as well. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take this Kiko Milano eye, well, lip liner, 
and then I'm just gonna use this to outline my lip. And then I'm also gonna fill them in a little bit because I wanna do like an ombre effect with another um shade of lip. And then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade stripped and then I'm just gonna apply this to the middle and then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. And then guys, this would be the finished look. Thank you so much for watching.